What's going on, Big A, the Mank Geek, coming at you with another video. It's Sunday, it's time for my pull list, where I show you as to what comics that I got this week. Earlier this week, I got some pretty good news from YouTube, sort of finally confirmed my account for like monetization, even though I did the 4,000 watch hours like a month ago or something like that. Uh, they finally got around to reviewing my channel and giving it the thumbs up. Who knows, at some point I may, playing with the idea of doing a live stream of some sort, not really a celebration or anything like that, but just doing one and like having a chat and all that, answering like any kind of comments that come in whilst doing it and seeing how it goes down and seeing how people like it, but that's something for the future. Uh, so right now, let's get into the comics. First up, Black Panther. <laughs> this comic is so good right now. Like that first issue I thought was really good. I just love that it's good action. Like when you compare it to the previous run, there's just like too much sitting around council tables and talking and this, that and the other on all these like fables and all that. Yeah, that's good and everything. But what we, what people really want is like, they want the action, man. They want to see T'Challa like do some, I don't even know if this is our proper like T'Challa or not. I, I think it may just be people with the same names, but obviously, um, out in space, so completely different people. It's just that they have kind of like the same names just by chance. That's what I think it might be. But yeah, man, you had like cool like ships flying about and all this and like, it was just, it was just good to read. And he, I mean, it was mostly that one action scene, but it was all these crazy things going on during it. And it was just so, and it's like, it's a little, but it's also enough. It doesn't feel the need to kind of spend ages kind of world building because we can see the world building as we're going along with the action. Whereas last time it was all just, just talking, world building through talking rather than showing. Showing is better to do always. And I think that's what's been learned here. And I, this is one of my, like, I'd say, yeah, get it. Like, I recommend it, it's one of my recommendations. If you're gonna buy a Marvel comic or you've not bought one for a while and you, and you wanna want something good from Marvel, at the moment, I think that's one of the good ones. The Terrifics, yeah, I like the fact that f now it's kind of getting into the swing of things. I feel like, I feel like the previous issues were pretty good, but I also feel like they should have skipped kind of all the intro stuff and just got through to them being a team like from like the second issue and really getting into the personalities of the team but it's it's working i mean i, I don't know if it, how long it will go on for but I, I think this works pretty well as a fantastic four copy uh i'm not mad at it like yeah they did this whole kind of like this issue was actually really strong because you got this kind of whole thing of them being a team proper and yeah, I thought it was pretty good. It was like some weird adventure stuff going on. It was all ver done very simply. And and yeah, I like it, man. I think it's good. I mean, I can't see me not continuing to get this unless unless it just becomes totally lame. Thing and Human Torch, Marvel 2 in 1. Yeah, this story is really good, man. I really like this story just because it's just so interesting. Like overall, like... Yeah, the fact that the Fantastic Four are coming back, well, Sue and Reed are coming back, and that this story is, is gonna be the thing that kind of goes into it. I think, or well, I was hoping Zdarsky would be writing Fantastic Four, because I think he could write a pretty good Fantastic Four, but um, but that's not the case, it's Dan Slott doing that. But Chip's done a really good job so far. I like, again, <laughs> like especially the end of this issue as well, it's what you'd want. And there's some stuff in the middle which is pretty cool as well. And obviously, if you if you remember Civil War, uh, the first Civil War, not the second one, I'd rather not talk about the second one. Then you know this dimension that they're in, you'll you'll kind of get what like it's all to do with and like how it went down and that. But yeah, again, I think this is one of the better kind of Marvel comics out there. Again, I recommend. I, I pretty much recommend it as a story. Like it, it's been pretty fun and it's been really interesting. There's been some cool stuff in it as well. We got Star Wars Lando, Double or Nothing. I've not read this one yet. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be kind of similar to the last one. Yeah, I hope it's interesting. I, I think all Star Wars comics should be miniseries. 
I'm, I don't think any kind of long form series really works for Star Wars. I, I really don't. I, I, it just kind of the story should just be nice little compact pieces. And I don't think any of the Star Wars expanded universe should kind of fill in the blanks for character development. The movie should do that. If they don't do that, then they're not competent movies. Um, so I think they should kind of focus just more on just telling good stories in the universe rather than going, oh, that 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 character motivation that you didn't see. Oh, well, it's in it. I hate when they do that. It's like you, you're being lazy. Do, do something else. Like, don't don't feel that. People who see the film, there's only a small amount of those people who will then go on to purchase any additional canon stuff. And again, not everyone can purchase every piece of like canon content. So yeah, I'm down with the like the short form stuff like the previous Lando series and this one and the Han Solo one and the, those Princess Leia one. They haven't done a Luke one, which, well, I guess he doesn't really need one considering he more or less most of the time is the focus of the main Star Wars run anyway. But um, that's enough waffle about Star Wars. I also got Teen Titans. I'm extremely behind on Teen Titans. I've got like a stack of Teen Titans to read. I will get through it someday uh, until then. Well, this is actually a special, um, so I'm not sure as to how it how it kind of ties into everything else that's going on. But, um, but yeah, I look forward to reading a big stack of uh, Teen Titans at some point and seeing how it goes. And I heard what they're coming back. Well, I see they're coming back, but they've got, I think, a new writer. Wait, who wrote this one? Oh no, the writer of the new one from issue 20 is gonna is wrote this one as well. So yeah, we'll see how it goes down. I'm interested to uh, continue getting it and see how, uh, see how it goes. But, uh, but yeah, um, what else have I got to say? No, I don't have anything else to say. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification, stick around and watch another video if you want. And before I actually go, I forgot to do this. I always do this. So I've got Black Panther. Terrifics, Thinking Human Torch, Lando, and Teen Titans. Uh, let me know as to what comics you got, whether you thought they were good or bad or whatever, or in between, or if you think there's something that I should be getting. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.